first off, this is extremely important for us to understand why we should be different. Being different leads to other people's deliverance. That's why if I'm different, I will help people deliver. When you're common, you continue to help the person that you're trying to change conform. Because now I'm bringing myself to their level. Anybody who plays sports told them, tell you do not play to the level of your competition. If your level of competition is beneath you, don't play to their level. Because so many of us, we go into situations already claiming the championship, but play at the level of our competitors, and we wonder why we don't hold a trophy at the end. We got to get to a place where we say, you know what? Anything that's unholy will not be common around me. I got to make sure I live a life that's clean because I have an eternal purpose. When you have an earthly purpose, you will always pursue earthly pleasures. But when you have an eternal goal, your eternal goal will lead you beyond these earthly pleasures because you're more focused on what you have been enlisted to than what is other people entangled with. We got to get to a place where we say, God, I'm going to do these things differently. In order for us to remain different from the world, in order for us to remain different from the world and to maintain fellowship with God, we must depend differently, discern differently, develop differently, dodge differently, and dominate differently. I got to give you this. I, slay, I slaved all a long time on this. In order for us to remain different from the world and to maintain fellowship with God, we must depend differently, discern differently, develop differently, dodge differently, dominate differently. In order for us to live different in the world, fellowship God, we must def uh, uh, depend differently. Depend, depend, depend. The world teaches us to depend on money to depend on infatuation instead of depending on God. Trust me, this world's financial system is about to crash. Every eight to 10 years, it will crash. And those people who depend like the world, when all hell breaks loose, they will be scattered like the world, confused like the world, and unprovided for like the world. But those who depend on God, who live, listen, your wealth is predicated on warnings. Wealth in your health, wealth in your money, wealth whatever, health and wealth, all that's predicated on the warnings. Your body gives you warnings when you have something happening on the inside. When you do not adhere to those warnings, you're going to lose wealth and health to a degree. Some of us, our check light engine has been on for weeks now. And what could have been a $30 fix turns into a $3,000 fix because we're not adhering to the warnings. When God wants to provide and sustain you, you gotta depend on his word, meaning you gotta depend, you actually gotta make sure that you're dedicated in ensuring that your dependence is in him. Listen. You don't work for that job, that job works for you. When you change that mindset, you will, will suffer and work well on that job. Because you know that those dollars are not supposed to be used squanderingly, it's supposed to be used specifically. That when God led people, they were always provided for. Elijah, by the brook, fed by ravens. Elijah, widow woman's house, fed there. There's going to come a time where people are going to be, <laughs> you better hope you hear from God. North Korea talking crazy. Probably ain't going to do nothing. But they still talking crazy. We living in some perilous times. He said there will be wars and rumors of wars. We living in times where you best to be dependent on God. Because you best believe your boy will go outside <laughs> and say, God, what's, where's the nearest brook? <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't going to trust the GPS made by man, my brother. I'm going to trust the GPS made by the Lord. God lead and guide me into the brook. <laughs> because I know if you fed my man Elijah ravens, you're going to feed your boy. Listen, I'll find the nearest brook and put the word of God on God. And be like, God, you fed that man, God. Listen, I'm in your will. Trust me. When you're in the will of God, you will be sustained there. When you're in the will of God, you don't got to worry about nothing. But so many people don't know the will of God for their life. 
And when you know the will of God for your life, you'll be a wanderer. In order for me to remain different in the world and to maintain fellowship with God, we must also discern differently. The smartest person in the room is not the smartest person. It's the wisest person. All throughout the Bible, you saw God's people being number twos. You rarely ever seen them being number ones unless you're talking about David, etc., etc. Joseph was a number two. Daniel was a number two. A lot of these prophets were number twos. They wasn't the, the commander in chief, but they had the commander in chief's ear. The world discerns based upon science, man-made philosophies. We're supposed to discern by the Spirit of God. Trust me, the ghost that's in you is a million times smarter than the smartest person on this planet. Trust me, I'd rather be the wisest than the smartest because formulas can't get you through certain warfares. <laughs> you can get a board, you can write all these formulas. How are we gonna get through this? How are we gonna... Listen, 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 formulas can't change a human's heart. Faith can. I'd rather have faith than formula. Next, we must develop differently. Most people develop in the way the world develops. We go through elementary, middle, high, college. We, 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 we marry similarly. We, 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 we raise children similarly. We, we develop our lives and develop other people's lives and give advice in other people's lives differently. We need to make sure that we develop differently. Making sure, okay, God, what path do you have me on? How do you want me to develop? How do you want me to move? How do you want me to navigate? God, I must develop differently because if I develop like God wants you to develop, I'm going to end up in your lane. That's why when you're running in your lane, stay in your lane. A wise person doesn't do what they're not called to do. So many people trying to be singers, but they really ministers. Some people are ministers trying to be rappers. You got to get to a place where you say, you know what? I am who I am by the grace of God alone. You got to develop differently. Developing, the reason why God wants us to develop differently, because developing differently means a, di a different relationship. Your relationship with God ain't the same as mine. At the core it is, but the methods are different. I got to say, God, develop me the way you let. What kind of fighter do you want me to be? Do you want me to be a defensive fighter or an aggressive one? God, what art do you want me? Listen, the one thing about Christians and some certain people, we don't know how to master anything. We're trying to be good at a lot of different things, but ain't great in one thing. What is the science of your craft? People who are great have their craft to a science. Diet, working out, friend, everything's a science. You got to look at your life and say, God, how do you want to develop me? And do you know your specific purpose to a science? In order for me to do this, what must I do? In order for me to, to know these many verses memorized, what do I need to do? In order for me to, to pray longer, how do, what kind of regimen, what kind of science, what kind of process must I do to be effective? Not only should I develop differently, I should dodge differently. Dodge differently means, look, man, some of us, we, we, we fight every fight. I'd rather take a L and win the war than to try to win every battle and lose the war. So many of us, man, so, we're so easy. When, that's why keep your life private. Because what they don't know about you can't be used against you. What we do, we put our business out there. And people are like, oh, when she come around me, I'm going to say this joke right here. I be telling them kids, if it ain't true, why are you mad? If what they're saying is not true, why are you mad? You mad because they made you believe it's true. That's why, man, people don't know nothing about my life. I only tell you what I want you to know. I only tell you what I want you to know. But if you tell everybody everything, people be venting on Facebook. I'm like, why? Jesus don't read your Facebook line. Why are you praying to your Facebook status? I be like, that, that, that shows insecurity to me. That's just me. It shows insecurity when people vent and, and put their stuff online like to people who don't care. Keep your life private 
because you'll know what to dodge. Jesus said just enough to keep him from dying too soon. You read a text, you'd be like, how did Jesus escape the mob? I, I read the Bible, like, did Jesus moonwalk past them? Did he float past them? They about pushed him off the cliff and then Jesus found him way himself through the crowd. How did he find himself through the crowd? <laughs> he said enough to dodge something too soon. When it was time for that man to die, the man started talking crazy. <laughs> he said, no, I'm gonna say something gonna make you, make you kill me. But so many of us, we get shot before our moment to be sacrificed. You'll catch that when you watch it again. <laughs> so many of us end up like John the Baptist getting our head cut off before the time because we're fighting battles, every battle we fighting. Jesus said, the only battle I'm gonna fight is the one that's gonna be worth something. So many of us are not dodging anything, wondering why we get hit by everything. Next, you gotta dominate differently. You gotta dominate gracefully. With God in you, in every secular arena, you the alpha. You know that one person that walk in the room, <laughs> the biggest dudes get quiet because of respect. People don't respect compromise, they respect consistency. If you're always flaking and compromising, people ain't gonna respect you. But when you're consistent, oh man, put the weed away, here come, <laughs> man, who told him to come? Now we gotta put the drinks up. Cause they respect. Every place you walk in where devils are, they supposed to be trembling. Our relationship with God is not dedicated enough because if it was, every demon wherever you walk in will tremble. You got to be so committed to God that wherever you walk, <laughs> you dominate. Not be like, hey, I'm super spiritual. You know, you know you're just saying, nah. Those who say less dominates most because their presence is heavy enough. What you represent will determine how heavy your presence is. When People get uncomfortable because their demons know who you are. You ever seen people squirm when you're in the room? They're uncomfortable. They actually like you. Some demons like, man, is she, is she gonna cast me out? <laughs> she been praying for the last two weeks, she might. One third of Jesus' ministry was casting out demons. It's hard for people to deliver in their purpose if, they're not been, if they haven't been delivered from sins and demons. The reason why the church is where it is today Ain't nobody been delivered. Saved, but not delivered. In order for us to remain different from the world and to maintain fellowship with God, we must defend differently, depend differently, and defend differently, discern differently, develop differently, dodge differently, and dominate differently. Let me say defend. You gotta defend differently, even amongst other Christians. I challenge every one of you to know why you believe what you believe and how you should articulate what you believe. Because when it comes to defending the gospel, you gotta defend it accurately and differently because people are not changed because of hoopla and worship services. They're changed when you have convinced them. We think music draws people, convincing them will. People who's ready to know the word of God, all you gotta do is say, you know the way you living is wrong. Here's the facts about Jesus. Here's the facts about this. And if they don't change, their heart just hardens. But those who are truly a part of the harvest will change because they know, oh, it makes sense. God would not give you a faith to defend that can't make sense. I hope you guys enjoyed that video on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you're watching. Feel free to go in the description box below. Feel free to give, get involved. Give me and Charlie if you love to join us. But thank you guys so much for watching.